We got Spencer Garrett in the place. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Hi, guys. Come we on are, in. We are live, live, live over here at Purple Banter. Spencer Garrett in the house watching the 2022 NFL Draft. Let's go, baby. We're excited. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, Good time, to be here. It's so, so cool. I haven't been here in ages. I love this place. This yeah. is the best. I know. You're an L.A. native. I'm an L.A. native. I used to come here all the time when I, I, I moved back from New York in about 89. I grew up born and raised here, but I moved back to New York a long time ago. So when I moved back in 89, this was my hang. I was this here. Is, this was the I was a, I was a. And the new patio. like. This and a new there. patio. This is fantastic. Wait, yeah. so who's your love football it. team? I don't even know this. My football team? My football team was the Giants, the New York Giants, but now I'm now I'm back. Now I'm all I'm all Rams. You're all Rams. Yeah, Are I'm they all paying Rams. For that? Yeah. What's that? Are they paying you to be a Rams fan? No, they're not no. paying me. They're not paying me nothing. <laughs> You're in Rams blue and everything. I'm Rams. It. Yeah, I love it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, so nice to meet you. you got, people that don't know you, they know like the, your main role right now on Winning Time. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen the show myself personally. You got to catch up. Yeah, it's really do. amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, you got to yeah. catch up. You you're, you're eight episodes behind, oh, okay. so you got to you got to you got to pick it yeah, up. A lot of but that's one of the yeah. best shows you could possibly have to binge right now because I'm so sad that I have to wait each week. Yes. It's like, yeah. Oh, I, I would like that you have to wait to watch though. the new episode because I was like, ooh, I only got to wait. <laughs> it's one really good. It's really good, you guys. You guys are killing, killing. It's interesting. People are like. There's sort of a debate about uh, whether people love just binging it all in one in one big gulp or liking to wait every week. Yeah. I like that we're kind of teasing it out every yes. yeah. every Sunday. That's because yes. every agree. Sunday has kind of a little cliffhanger every week. Yeah, so. it actually needs to be done that way because it's back to the old days. Back yeah. to well, not old days. Yeah, I guess like it was a, old a, days. appointment yeah, television. Damn, I know, right? But <laughs> yeah. it's so, interesting because okay, who's our picks for the pan There's Panthers. There's a pick. Sorry. Who's our pick? Oh. Oh, you asking me? Not, we're not, we're not. Oh, this guy from NC State. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He, he's good. Yeah, he's good stuff. So he's the. Uh, yeah, OTI. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I love this is not. This is. This is. You're, you guys are talking Martian to me. This is oh, out yeah. of out of all, my. Uh, all in. All in. Well, we're okay. really just talking we're about trying. people's outfits and how they celebrate and that they shouldn't be in Vegas okay. on this night because they're gonna be super duper. Are we happy about this guy? We yeah. like this guy. Okay. Yeah. So this guy's good. Um, OT. I'm, you guys are more. You speak football much better than I do. So. Yeah. Well, we can speak winning season really quick because I just. Gotta finish what I was about to say. We have lots to say about it. Yes, we do. We were talking about this before you came. Yeah. I, I didn't realize you were gonna pop up on us like this. But I thought I told you. Yes, you did. Girl, <laughs> let me let me act like I didn't know. So um, no, we're we're really into it. So my thing was I was saying simply was, it is good to wait now because when you went through COVID. You were able to shove so much stuff down. You couldn't appreciate the work. And I read a, um uh, one of the actors posted how she kind of was like. You understand it takes us how long to make a show? Like, you can't just expect us to have them pushing them out. Like, it takes us uh, months and months and months to finish one season for you to just be like, okay, where's the next one? Yeah. Like, if you're talking no. about winning time, I mean, making that show during COVID with all the basketball and 500 time? extras on a soundstage oh recreating the forum, you know, 10 basketball players run up and down the court. I mean, we had to get tested every yeah. every day, yeah. uh, whether we were shooting or not. Oh, and then, you know, we're yeah. wearing plastic shields and masks and all of that. I mean, we had to in take between, a lot of in-between yeah, takes. I mean, you'd, you'd get ready to, you'd rehearse a scene with your mask on, and then you'd rip off the mask yep. and do the scene and then put it right back when on again. When did you so guys start shooting that? We, start, we shot the pilot two and a half years ago. We shot the pilot in the fall that. of 2019. Hi. Uh, <laughs> we shot the pilot in fall of 2019, and then uh, we got picked up, and we were getting ready to go in the spring of 2020, and COVID hit, and we shut down for an entire year. So we, wow. sh we started filming last April, and we wrapped at the end of October. Wow. And so episode nine is coming on Sunday, and the finale is in two weeks. And So how very do you like, find the chemistry with the cast and then take a break and then be able to pick up again? You know what? It was almost, it was almost instant in a, in a way. I mean, we picked up right where we left off. We all stayed in touch with each other okay. uh, over the course of the year, and we had a lot of kind of Zoom rehearsals and things. And the guys, I mean, Quincy, who plays Magic, and Solomon, who plays uh, Kareem, they were heavy into the basketball. Uh, they, all the guys were in training. So we all stayed in touch with each other, and then once we got up and running, we started filming, it's it's like a big giant family in a lot of ways, and uh, and Chick Hearn was the uh, was you know, the voice of the Lakers, and he was kind of a heart and soul of the team. So I I like yes, this wait you're giving me the fist, which we, you want me to stop talking? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I see. Yeah. Well, well done. Well done. I can't tell you. I mean, I people have pulled up next to me in a stoplight. They saw me in my car and gave me the.
3,338 games, and he, uh, when Pat Riley, the coach Pat Riley, before he became coach Pat mm -hmm. Riley, played beautifully by Adrian Brody, yeah. uh, Adrian Brody comes to Chick Hearn and asks him for a job uh, <laughs> as his co-announcer, as his color man. Yeah. So uh, he makes a tape and he gets he gets the gig, and so Pat starts asking Chick, uh, what do you want me to talk about when I'm sitting next to you when we're calling the games? I mean, how when should I know when to chime in? And I say, do you see what this is, Pat? He says, that's your hand. I say, no, that's my fist. When I hold it up like this, and I'm making a fist, that means you stop talking. When I open it up, you talk. When I close it, I say, believe me, you'll know when you're being fisted. <laughs> you, won't even, you, won't even, you won't even feel it, you'll know when you're being fisted. Yeah, yeah. So that's become really kind of a... What's funny about it is the simple fact that in the beginning, he does not let him say much of anything. Right. So there's a bunch and of And then we have a nice moment. There was there finally was a, a nice moment me. where... He looks over at me, and every time he's afraid of getting the fist. And finally, I kind of look over like this, and I and I perfect. and I open my, my hand, and that's when I gave I gave Pat Riley permission to speak. It's, it's um, yeah, I it's great. It's a yeah. great, and, and we and we got a great relationship. I mean, Adrian is such a dream to work with, so we have a lot of fun together. Yeah, because yeah. one thing we were also talking about is just a lot of people that maybe haven't saw this yet. If you're any type of sports fan whatsoever, you're excited because you learn about the history of the right, game right. watching this show right and how much of it did you know prior to getting your role i didn't know i didn't know that about pat riley i okay. didn't know that that he was his kind of his sidekick he was also his gopher i mean chick was chick would make pat riley go pick up his dry cleaning yeah. if you can imagine that oh, one wow. of the greatest coaches in the history of the nba right. and he started out doing errands for chick so i had mind. no idea about any of that um, I wasn't really that familiar with Kareem's background, mm -hmm. okay. so uh, I mean that's what's so beautiful about the show is it weaves all of these different storylines so beautifully, and all of the players' backgrounds, Magic's relationship with his father and his mother. Um, there's just so many great stories, and it's Adam McKay, so you know. I mean, so the yeah. writing is so good; it's just delicious. So, I've, I'm learning a lot. Um, I didn't know that before Pat Riley slicked his hair back and started wearing Armani suits. He was walking around the beach looking for his second act with a big old bushy mustache. Yeah. In fact, I was so envious. I was so envious of his mustache that I started to grow one myself. <laughs> yeah. Now this is actually for, this is a, this I'm I'm growing this for a play. I'm going to New York to do a play in a couple weeks, oh, and I'm nice. growing this mustache. It's the first time in my life I've tried to grow a mustache. It looks really this good. Is a, this is this is about good. five days in, so You're we're giving we're giving it, it a test drive. Is Not it gonna bad. get bushy though, like Pat's on the show? Is uh, it no, it's that? gonna be I'm gonna grow it out and then I'm gonna kind of thin it out. Oh. It's gonna be a really terrible mustache. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm going for a really bad look. So this is my last question y'all yes. shut up after this no, because i'm going. curious if you can say anything to it yes there's so much controversy the show is the best i don't care they emmys i'm waiting for them to next come question. to you guys <laughs> next you question already know. Oh next yeah, question so that's my question and that's the only reason why i bring it up and so we'll move on to the next question because y'all please let these people be great i'll say this because you don't have to talk can you please let <laughs> them be great all all i'm i will i will answer that question keep talking and i'm gonna I answer want you your to question. let them be great let me say this why as creators it is, it is, and, I'm, and there's, this is exactly what the controversy is. Is it we need too much Hollywood, or is it you guys should look it up and find out what's the truth? I mean, I'm going to tell. I will, I'll answer your crap. question this way. On page 68 of Jerry West's autobiography, mm -hmm. that is a book that one writes about oneself, mm -hmm. uh, called West by West. He talks about throwing golf clubs and going into fits of rage. And if you don't believe me, just ask Pat Riley. He saw it all. So <laughs> that, that uh, works. There's a plug yeah. for you, too. So it's, uh, we're not making it? a documentary. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, it's fictionalized. Uh, it, we obviously they're real characters. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm playing Chick Hearn as Chick Hearn. I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing a, a, an impression of Chick Hearn to a certain extent. But everything I do, I try to I try to honor his legacy. Yes. Um, but obviously the writers have him doing some things that he maybe not necessarily would have done in you know in real life and it's it's heightened it's it's, it's, it's Adam McKayify. Yeah. So. You guys made it comedic, which makes it much more engaging. Exactly. If we were we just doing like, a biopic, people would fall asleep. You, not even watching. Yeah. you really wouldn't. And so thank you for sharing what you could share yeah. about that. I'm done. I'll leave y'all alone. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, how did you find your interpretation of Chick Hearn in the role? I. It's funny. I right before I got the part. Um, 
I had done uh, a nice little role in this Tarantino film uh, in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, and, yeah. I, and I Casual. played a guy who kind Casual. of talks like this. I'm interviewing <laughs> Brad and Leo, and I played sort of a TV host announcer, and my uncle was that guy in real life. My oh, uncle wow. was an actor named Chris Bone, and he did oh. commercials and voiceovers, and he had a voice, and he talked like this. And so I kind of modeled the character in the Tarantino film after my uncle, and I guess I heard McKay had seen the, he'd seen the film, he'd seen me in that role, and he thought of me as Chick Hearn. So I was kind of like nice. doing a little bit of an homage to my Uncle Chris. And then, of course, when I got That's the so gig, sweet. I went on YouTube and I went down a rabbit hole of Chick Hearn and watched a couple hundred hours of, uh, of Chick Hearn and watched Laker games. And I got to the point where I would, I would put on a Lakers-Celtics game yeah. and I would screen mirror it onto my television uh, set. Uh -huh. I would turn the sound down and I would sit there in my armchair and I would just start calling Laker games. I love that. Uh, with the sound down as Chick Hearn. And I'd sit I'd, like a crazy person sitting in my <laughs> living room. Magic to Kareem, Kareem to Cooper, Cooper to Worthy, <laughs> slam dunk. I'm doing all that. And so by the time we got up and running with filming, I was pretty well versed in Chick. And I tried to get his voice and his mannerisms and his essence uh, and his, his cadence, I mean, he, sp he could speak nonstop for two yeah. hours, yeah, which yeah. is not Wild. something normal humans do. Right. Yeah. Um, pretty extraordinary work ethic Absolutely. he had. So, that's really um, awesome. yeah. so that's what I was trying to do in order to kind of get him as best I could. A fun um, little fact on Barney's Beanery, just total kind of side note of this, but Tarantino apparently wrote a lot of Pulp Fiction in this Barney's Beanery. Is that right? That's what I heard. Oh, wow. Okay. I love that. In a that. booth at Barney's. I love that. Full circle. Um, I, the, the, the flip side of your of your question about preparing for Chick Hearn is it was, I played Sean Hannity in a movie called Bombshell. Vastly more entertaining watching hours of Chick Hearn preparing for Chick Hearn than having to watch hundreds of hours of Fox News. I thought I was going to stab my eyeballs out. So you Did we just lose audio? No, I think we just no, lost uh, our... Are we, you are we good on audio? Are we good we're on good. audio? We're good. Oh, okay. We just yeah. lost oh, that. Right. We can hear. So were you a um, an NBA, were you a basketball fan before the... I was a Laker fan. I grew, okay. up, I grew up a Laker right. fan. I mean, right. I, grew up, I grew up going <laughs> to those games in... I mean, I remember 79, 80, I was 14, 15 years old, and going to the forum nice. was like going to a rock and roll show. Yeah. That's right. And you see, so you you see Jack feeling. Nicholson sitting there. And yep. I mean, it was like the building was rumbling. Yeah. Wow. Um, the, only thing I, the only thing the guys couldn't do, the production design, a lot of people are noticing that the forum in our show is kind of maroon colored. The stripes on the right, forum right, are right. maroon. Yep, yep. And I think back in the day, it was blue, and they couldn't, they couldn't CGI that out. Um, but I, I would go there as a kid, and I'd go to the games, and and it That's was like watching. Yeah. It was just electric, yeah. and it feel it felt like they never lost. It just seemed like well, they never ever. The lost. run that they went on, some of those times, it yeah. really kind of low key was like not. The only thing I think that I've saw, even since I paid attention to basketball, that's even similar, is probably what Golden State has been doing yeah. too. Yeah. Like you just get if, as a fan, <laughs> yeah. you're super excited because it's like you just expect them to win. So right. I can't imagine as a kid, we were just talking mm -hmm. about sharing the Clippers with the Lakers <laughs> sure. and how you kind of just want to go see the Lakers most of the time, which kind of, sorry, Clippers, yeah. but it's like, that's that's what's happening. I don't need to see the Clippers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I also think, given the, uh, it's funny, I was, uh, Jeff Perlman, who wrote the book, mm -hmm. uh, Showtime, which that's is a lesson. fabulous book yeah. uh, that the yeah. show is based on, and I said to him, I said, it's a bummer the Lakers are having such a bad year, because it, it might not pe make people as interested in watching our show, and he said, absolutely, the contrary. Yes. So it's going to make people nostalgic <laughs> for when they were great. I mean, yeah. we did win a, we won a championship here two years ago. Yeah, so yeah. 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 We just like kind of forgot about that. Forgot about the head coach. And we're just like, yeah, good enough. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not. I wasn't on board with that. Yeah. But, but this is the Vogel, Vogel took the took a bad a bad hit for that. He yeah. did. Yeah. It wasn't his fault. That's my These are cents. spoiled we Laker fans right here, yeah. <laughs> talking about having spoiled Laker fans who don't realize that they just won a championship. Yeah. I was yeah. like, it, 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 we're expecting it. I'm, I'm a Chiefs fan, and you know know about football, but right now you're a Chiefs we're, fan, really. We're kind, right? I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> but it's kind of like you. I'm originally from KC, right so that's that the reason town. why. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you guys. I'm like, what do you mean we didn't make it to the Super Bowl? Like what? But it's the same thing that they're trying to say. It's it's absolutely insane that you get the opportunity to win one time. Yeah. So yeah. in watching yeah. this 
this this show that's what i love so much there's so many moments of greatness and it happened and so i became addicted to going on youtube and watching the original yeah. interviews oh, yeah. of yeah. like magic of Kareem. watching and chick was he was the thing about chick Hearn, it was so great with everybody yeah. whether he was interviewing larry bird which was their chief rival Ooh. um bird was so uh i mean he's very like high strung and in you know in intense and obviously the the contentious relationship he mm -hmm. had with Magic Johnson. But you see him sit down with Chick Hearn, and he just kind of, he's very at ease and opens up, and that's what, that was the beauty of, of, of Chick Hearn, and that's why I love playing him so much. Yeah, there's he, a lot named after Chick Hearn that, that's here. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There's a there's a street, I know I saw the street. Oh, that's Chick Hearn Street, yeah. Chick Hearn, Chick Hearn Boulevard. Where is it? By the, the, right the Staples Center, yeah, by the old, okay. I still I'm can't, like, I can't I call it the Crypto times. Arena. Oh, okay, that's yeah, it. It's the Staples Center to me, yeah. I know, it is supposed to call Okay, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Staples Center. It's Chick Hearn, Chick Hearn Boulevard. Lived. There's a statue of Chick Hearn right there. So. I'm like, I see Chick Hearn nonstop in my head, the blue and yeah. white song, but then I couldn't place where it was. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah, anybody that, if you are watching it, you're not from L.A., there's so much history sitting yeah. right here on the other side of us because he is getting the opportunity to play one of the most legendary announcers in any sport, let alone just basketball. Yeah. Yeah. But it, to it, me, it, there was Chick Hearn and Vin Scully and, and everybody yeah, else. Yeah. 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 They, were the, they were the top of the mountain, and everybody else was Seriously. just pretenders to the throne. Yeah, and that's yeah. right here in a home at L in L.A. Yeah, right? that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's so right. we know that LA, LA is an LA. entertainment town, obviously, and I think that's what's so fun about the show too is is highlighting the entertainment side of yeah. sports. Yeah. But is LA a sports town? Sure, it's a sports town. Is it? Oh yeah. You oh, mean yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially, especially now that the Rams are back, okay. I, I think so, 100. percent I mean, yeah, all sports but it's here. entertainment. You know, how many mean? championships have the Dodgers won? How many championships have the Lakers Dodgers. won? Okay, I mean, okay. I know. Lakers, she okay. She I know. It like, like, I'm coming like, from the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like, like we're like cold and it's like she hard feels like you guys don't have any sacrifice. No, I'm from Minnesota. From Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Is is Minneapolis a sports town? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like let's be serious. No, no. I'm from LA. No. More more than LA. Lakers, Kings, Dodgers. I'm getting destroyed here, LJ. No, I'm from LA. That was in the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies are a basketball team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Grizzlies aren't a basketball and, and, team. And, and, you guys have the Vikings and the Twins. Yes. From yes. Minneapolis. Yes. From the, Minneapolis the, is. Okay. Minneapolis. No. She come tried on. to come uh -huh. for y'all, though. She did just try to come for you guys. I think what she's saying, though, is that you never have to sacrifice to go watch a game because yeah. it's That's always nice sunny yeah. in we LA. Have, we have options here in LA. Like, we can go watch a game or go do anything else. No, I mean, that's true. You guys said Fran Targenton and Kirby Puckett. And that's oh, about I it. Yeah. Back in. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, and we we don't have, we won't talk about Kirby Puckett. That's all other <laughs> conversation. Yes. You, so you're from here in LA. I'm from I'm from right down the road in Santa Monica. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So we were offended. Are you from here too? Are yeah. You I'm, from, I'm, I'm from I, I inland in Park Chino Hills. Okay. Yeah. So I'm basically around here. Okay. Know? So uh, now I live in downtown LA. Don't don't shoot me. Um, you know, it's a little crazy <laughs> over there. I it he is. said, yeah. As soon as you say inland empire, though, you know they're trying to play you guys too. Like, oh, you can't say LA. Because <laughs> my mom lives out there, so I'm familiar with it. The yeah. comparison of like, what can you claim? It's like, okay, calm yeah. down. I but can it, walk here. You know, it should be my. Can I get a Can I get a plug in for something else? Because you said oh Chino God, Hills. 100%. Apropos of absolutely nothing but Chino Hills, last year when when the quarantine when the when the pandemic hit in the first months of the pandemic. And I think a lot of people went, oh, this will be over in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I went out and bought a ukulele and I'm sitting home <laughs> tr trying to learn how to play the ukulele. And I'm yeah. I'm learning how to cook and doing all these things and you waiting, watching, watching the clock, waiting for the three waiting weeks for COVID <laughs> to be over. Yeah. And then little did we know. Um, and I created a uh, I created a television show on Instagram uh, called Quarantine. And we uh, it was it's about 12 out of work soap opera actors. On a television, on a soap opera called Chino Hills. Oh, wow. oh my gosh! Uh, Shout out to Chino and Hills. A, night, a nighttime soap opera called Chino Hills, and they're all out of work. And we so it sounds like Chino Hills out of work. <laughs> You're right. Well, we, so we did. We did. We created this. We did 25 episodes of the show, and we did it to raise money for the SAG after uh, the COVID-19. Uh, relief fund cool. for the SAG after Foundation yeah. COVID-19 relief fund. Yep. Um, so, but we had a lot of fun doing it, and. To this day, so all 12 actors, you can go, you can watch it on IGTV, we have on to Instagram watch TV. It's sure. called Quarantine. It's fantastic. A little seven minute bites. I mean, they're short oh, little episodes. I love it. And to this day, all 12 of the actors that are in the show, we've never met each other in real life. We did it over Zoom. We shot it over, we shot oh, it that's even on better. our computers over Zoom, and then we had an editor put them together. Oh, that's we improv it. We made up the episodes the night before, and then we would email each other. 
uh, little kind of story points, and then we did it all. Just we just kind of vamped and improved it, and then we would put the little scenes together. But it's a lot of fun. So yeah, and it's Chino Hills. Chino so Hills. there you go, Chino giving Hills. some love to Chino it Hills. Inspired it inspired something. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It inspired something. No comp for Chino Hills. I love it. I love it. Right, Chino Hills is very nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Yeah. I, I think I grew up there, and I don't like it anymore. So okay. That, that's just my thing. I have a question. Uh, yes. Is it possible we can get a, a piece of the bread that's been passing around this whole time? Uh, uh, communion. Can we pass the communion? Do y'all got the wine to go with the bread? Do y'all got the wine to go with the bread? We're like talking. I need to repent. I would. I would love a glass of water. I don't know. I don't know how long you you'd like to have. She literally has everything. She is. We're just watching them like enjoy themselves. Um, like, I would so. like some more. No. <laughs> what is that? Shot? Thing. She had me try. The, oh, wow. Okay. It was a joke. Whoa, oh, nice. no. Okay. The camera caught all that. That was amazing. So okay. what's happening what is, is Eli, who is also playing a waiter right now. This turned into a disaster immediately. <laughs> would you do me a favor? Would you just take a... Take a shot of all of us? Yeah. Yes. It is so, so first funny. Question, LJ. What is that? Second, Delirium. Is someone get a napkin? Here, oh, let's wait, go. oh, yeah, we do. Leaking? Let's get a cheese oh, wait. in. Get a picture. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Seattle right. Seahawks, who lost Russell Wilson right, this year. Who are picking. they picking? Who are oh. Charles Cross. Oh, I like Frost. the Seahawks. I like Seattle. What yeah, they, I like how everybody gets dressed up for this. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so far. Wait. Thank yeah. you. Yes. So far, That's what I like, um, everyone has been drafted so far. Is it a defensive so position or O-line? That's it. No, no quarterbacks yet. No running backs yet. Wide receivers yet. Um, Not at all. How about my New York Giants? Are they? Have they they did anybody? go. They, they just got two picks. They just got two. Giants. Okay. There's they, a Giants fan right there. There's a Giants fan right giants. there. Yeah. Yes. You guys just yeah. got Alabama. It's about time. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah. 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 You like the picks? <laughs> you happy with the picks? Yeah. Good. <laughs> He's gonna find out. He has on his New York Giants tennis shoes, which you can appreciate. You think a uh, random question? Do you think anybody's gonna pick up uh, Kaepernick, or is he? Is he oh. I, I do He's because done. what they said. What I because I read an article. I have this weird thing about reading articles in the morning. But anyways, That's I read this thing. article that Cal Colin Kaepernick. I just think Kaepernick, it's a shame that he's. It's ridiculous, yeah. and you know he said he's okay with coming in as a backup, backup. quarterback. Yeah. yeah. And. It's unfortunate that that's what's going to happen just because. Yeah. But he is willing to be humble and come in and play as a backup quarterback, which maybe he gets in, maybe he doesn't. But I, I who's have to Who's Mahomes' it. backup? Our, our oh, yeah. backup is number four. Hi, <laughs> number four. No, oh, good old number four. Uh, I love number four. I love his work. <laughs> but maybe Cap can go to the backup really, Mahomes. What is his name? He did get to play, that too. That would be a good, like, mentorship. It would. I mean, it not that Patrick would. really needs it, but, like, yeah. it's always good it to have. It absolutely would. No, because you, you do You guys had a hell of a season. You that, do that need was, it. Yeah. Because you, when you're going to get – I don't ever – and I know I'm not an NFL coach or GM or nothing, but sometimes I just want to say it's like the skunk games when the kids are playing and you, like, beating the crap out of the kids and you like, okay, everybody go to the bench – <laughs> new, new batting, but it's like there's a time where I feel like take the quarterback out. There's sometimes it's like protect our quarterbacks, like we need to protect our women, but protect our quarterbacks <laughs> and sit them down so that they can make it to the next game or the yeah. playoffs. But I think it's the egos of the quarterbacks too. They're like keep me in the game, keep me in the game, keep me in the game. They're so in that like winning mindset. That's probably but true. But you gotta be the coach then. You gotta say you gotta come. You yeah. That's yeah. probably we true. Well, I mean, you. Kaepernick. Let's be like I, I don't know if you've been following him for the past couple of years, but he kind of. Okay, I know, and he got let out because of a number of reasons, right? But on his on his entrance, uh, when he was supposed right. to come in back in, he kind of screwed himself up. I don't know if you heard about what was Twitter going on. Twitter is uh, but basically he was supposed to have a day, a workout day, and he was working out. But instead of like just having a, a pure workout day, right. he invited cameras. He did all this like kind of stuff. Play did he invite them or did they come? He invited them. He invited them. So like he kind of turned it into a circus show. And then the people that were supposed to draft him were like, yeah, we're not. It's too much this. attention. Yeah. So yeah, kinda, not that kinda, kinda sexual assault okay, cases gonna, are attention, yeah. Yeah. but I won't get <laughs> yeah. into that. So that's not a lot of attention having sexual assault cases yeah. sitting, sitting there waiting on you. Yeah. I mean, I have to be an advocate for women and whoever mm -hmm. else has experienced yeah, yeah, this yeah. because it is interesting that you're saying not you, but they say this about Colin Kaepernick. But then you also have Deshaun Watson, who got paid the most money to play after he's literally in court yeah. for 22 women accusing him. And yes, he hasn't been convicted, but like if there's any more attention, that's the kind of the, the, the kind you don't want. Yeah. It's like really that's wild to me. I mean, mm -hmm. 22, pick and 22 women is quite a bit. You know, um, you know, more than like three. Some like, not okay. even licensed you know, yeah. massage yeah. therapists. But any we're more not going to get deeply enough. into yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 100%. one hundred percent. Right. Yeah. But, you know, one was enough. Yeah. Right. One was enough. 
Never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not with not with me. <laughs> or me. Yeah, I'm yeah. crazy a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So keep your hands clean, everyone. Quarterbacks out, especially. Um, you know, Tonight in Vegas, stay clean. We yeah. know y'all out there. It's so gonna we, be wild. We were talking about that before you got here. Because yeah. first of all, two things like. We are, you know, these young NFL 19, 20 year olds are being drafted in Las Vegas. Right. About to get a $20 million check and they're going to go blow it all in tonight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Hell for me. You know? I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Save your money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save your 100%. money. Buy your mom a house. Right, right, right. right. Uh, don't be Elon Musk and uh, spend $44 million on Twitter. Yeah. Use it to fund schools. Yeah. To feed children. Yeah. Uh, uh, not yet. Yeah. That's my that's my take. I'm 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 not gonna yeah. go home after Elon you get Musk drafted. Bashing, but I think there, <laughs> if I had 44 million bucks of fu money, I would Billion. do something a little bit Billion. different Billion. with it. But that's but me. I, I do I, I saw this this morning and this is my mild tangent. The Elon Musk got four, bought Twitter for 45 billion and like I think today um, U.S. wanted to send 33 billion dollars to Ukraine and I was like, hey, wait, hold because on. You could write a check and send it to Ukraine. People like, there's two yeah. big transactions. Just <laughs> Let's talk and, about uh, billion you know, dollars. We got homeless people out here. Yep. So there is a couple it questions, you know, a couple questions sense, on Twitter yeah. for yeah. that. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, I agree. So, not I to agree. mention <laughs> the people who try to get their student loans paid off, but we're not yeah. going to talk about that. And Can anybody like, yeah, write a check for those folks? Just turn into purple politics. It is. It's bad to about everything. Well, I think. I mean, Biden was talking about doing student loan debt forgiveness, which uh, he sure was he until today. <laughs> today he told everybody, "Well, it ain't gonna be fifty thousand dollars each yeah, now. Y'all yeah, done yeah. dealt too deep in my he's pocket." Cha- he's changed his mind. He, yeah. He was he, like, "Damn, Joe." Yeah. I mean, look, Uncle Joe, we <laughs> needed at least. I mean, twenty five thousand per year. No. And he was like, he's like, he's like, best I can give you is twelve hundred. <laughs> like, damn, but you pay he paid off the ITTT colleges. He paid yeah. off the, the colleges that were in the seven eleven parking lots. But I'm like, what about the people who are literally out here putting their lives on the line to get it to, to learn how to be doctors, to learn right. how to be nurses. I agree. To learn how to work in the field I'm with you. of nonprofit work like these beautiful people nah. to get educated, to give back to the world. And then you're like, oh no, but we're not gonna help y'all. Nah. We're gonna help the girl I, I, I'm not gonna get and she's doing <laughs> like this. Okay, I'm done. But wow. like, please, can we get our money back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, got, we got Matt accounting questions. Um, I, lo- I love how you ended that beautiful rant with "I'm not going to get into it." <laughs> <laughs> it, it reminded me of Chris Chris Rock's OJ joke. He said, "I'm not saying he should have killed her, but I understand." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you know. It's literally what it is. I'm saying, though, you know, if you ever watch this, Joe Biden and team, um, we just want us to, we want you to give us the refund. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> no, cool. verbal banter. Like, you know what? <laughs> you know, she, she got a point. You know? She do got a point, right. <laughs> Let me in the Oval Office, please. No. Okay, I quit. <laughs> football, football. Let's football. Let's here for. All this lovely football. So the Chiefs Wilson are just got so drafted. far I think that's the, the first receiver off the Who board. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, first wide receiver just got drafted. There okay. we go. Also, he's Bye. happy. To Washington Commanders. Or like, if you want to call Can we talk about the worst name in the yeah. history of Absolutely. names? You had all this time to figure out a name, and that's what time. you came I up with. I love the Washington football. I did, too. Football. I did, too. It reminded me of, like, a soccer team. Like, yeah. a, yeah. you know, old-fashioned. Like, old-fashioned. Yeah. I thought the logo was, like, classic. And now they're stuck with the Commanders for the rest of the I feel like they have to change it one more time. Yeah. It's like you spent all this time. People are already printing up T-shirts to say, go Commanders. Tommy. <laughs> Terrific. I'm sure they love that. Yeah. Yeah. I did like the original, like, just watching football team because they had yeah. just a number on the side. It looked like, yeah. it looked like, remember the Titans they were playing. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, this is great. Yeah. You know? And now we're like, Titans nah, was comics. a really good movie. Yeah. I loved it. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. The Titans was a great movie. Okay, sorry. That was like great movie. Really is Dan Snyder, does he still run that team? He does, yeah. and that's what why they want out. Where was the Washington commander person that, that was here? I know. Oh, really? a guy with, like, an original yep. T-shirt. I wonder if you took a poll. Uh, yeah, the rest a concerned. thousand Washington <laughs> football team fans, and how they many people it. would raise their hands and say, "Yeah, I love it." The one no, damn that person that thought of the no idea. Yeah. That's yeah. about yeah. it. All twelve. They must have been in charge too. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh no, it's mine. I'm it's choosing ridiculous. this. And I and I lived in D.C. for five years, and I I used to go to Skins games, and I, I love loved DC. I loved seeing. It was back in the days of Riggins, and I mean, it was a very they exciting. Take it I'm glad they there. I'm glad they, they changed do. the name ultimately. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what a what a Boondoggle that Yeah, is. they take it really. Kind of DC commanders. fans are and serious like, about their team. They are. Yeah. Oh yeah, they I've been out there I, too. The old, remember the old Washington Senators baseball team that became 
I believe, became Montreal Expos ultimately. Oh, that's but they could have they, yeah. they could have changed it to the Senators or the <laughs> the Congressmen or yeah. Yeah. Speakers of the House yeah. or something. I don't know. No, speakers of the House. Congressmen, we don't want to get that dirty. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, a dirty. Yeah. That's a dirty word. Very dirty. Yeah, the Marjorie <laughs> Taylor Greens. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's worse than the Redskins. They said, um, you know, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's so, it. so what? As in the, I want to know because we are talking about the NFL Draft 2022. What do you do? You get drafted. I want to hear from each of you. Okay. You get drafted tonight. You're you're the star, the first the first round draft pick. How do you come back home to oh. your current or ex mate? <laughs> yeah. I want to know what your thoughts oh, are. You to Please, oh, how do you come home to your? Oh, you're saying like you either you're with the person or you have just dumped the person. Which one is it? And tell us what you do. Or if got dumped. No, they're, they're neutral. Neutral. They're neutral. still with okay. you. You're okay. Still okay. Cool. Okay. You got to come home to see him. Okay. You there's the. There's the. There's the. Okay. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you're, if you're smart and you're not an idiot, <laughs> you go. You go straight home to your significant other and you snuggle up and you'd be a good person that's the that's Damn. i know that's boring but, but, but you're 19 yeah. it's not you're boring but you're actually, 19 and you're, you're 19. then you're suddenly a millionaire uh i don't know i just i like i just we live in such an insane time right now i just like to i'd like to think that people are going to do the right thing that's See, really naive but i know. don't think it's naive and i don't think it's boring i okay. actually love that because I, when you're a hopeless romantic i want people to party and have a good time and have a glass person, of champagne yeah. but uh take care of your health take care of your body don't get don't go Drink and drive and all that shit. Yeah, no, you know, just no. don't drink and drive. Stuff. Yeah. This yeah. this is what you want to hear though. Let's be real. Because yeah. if you're a hopeless romantic, you need somebody that wants to go home to the boo after they got drafted and be like, oh, we're gonna stay together <laughs> forever. But and don't then marry them. Let's just move down yeah. the line to King Cam and see what his <laughs> oh, answer no. is. We'll get back to 2022 yeah. real quick. <laughs> yeah, let's hear what you, you know. Because what do I, you do? I, you know, I, I've genuinely thought about this for quite a while, and um, you know. You when know, you're to be drafted. So, like, let's let's be serious, right? Roger Goodell comes up, camera study, first number one pick to, I don't know, let's call it Miami. Miami Dolphins, right? I'm like, oh, great, right? <laughs> um, you know, million dollar check, I'm going to deposit it on a Monday, you know what I'm saying? First, you know, whatever, I'm not going to go into the details of Chase Bank, right? Um, <laughs> Because you know how they hold, they hold a certain amount. They're going to hold that for a long time. You might as well hold it for a week because yeah. I'm going to spend it all. <laughs> but whatever, right? Um, so, you know, you first get drafted. You go to Miami on Sunday. You have a girlfriend that you're dating in high school. You know, you first go come see her, right? And you're like, girl, I'm going to Miami, okay? <laughs> uh, you're like, let's be serious, right? You're like, uh, you know, we're not going to last in the next couple days. You're not going to Disneyland. We're not going to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. So I might as well break up with you right now. You know oh, what I mean? Maybe we can, you know, one more night, but... We're done. Wow. That's We're the done. night you get pregnant, You're being girl. Really That's honest. the night you get I mean, pregnant. So, Put a hole in the condom. So, I'm trying to tell you. So, so there's that, right, right, right. But then, you know, I still have a couple more days until Monday, right, yeah. to get to deposit my check, right? So I'm like, okay, I got to tell my parents, you know, thank you. I love you know, love my mama. Well you know, story. great. For, thanks for, you know, helping me out, all that stuff like that. But, you know, I, you know, at that point, I'm just going to get ready, you know, to go lose it, you know, come next weekend. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I'm sorry, because I'm, I'm thinking 19. I'm, that was not Yeah, I got ago. you. I, I yeah. hear you. So I'm probably, you know, all valid. If I was there, valid. I'd probably come to California, <laughs> yeah. LA, some major city, and just party and mm -hmm. like crazy. Yeah. Um, try to avoid TMZ if possible. You know, do my best. There I am. And then after that, after I'm done, I'll probably look at my bank account, found out that I lost like at least 50 percent of my money. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my actual bank. Then be like, I need to find a financial financial advisor immediately because um, if I have another check, it's all gonna go back. So um, and he goes back to the girl that he left because he's not as rich as he thought he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get injured like first play. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, baby, I want you back, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, and then I move on. Then I then I get cut out the end. I want to party with this guy. <laughs> I want to hang out with this it. guy. Yeah. <laughs> we go to Vegas together. That's that's. I'm sure, you that's, got some friends. I go to that. Vegas with you. We're destined for trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. The Vegas is gonna be we'll only out. lead to no good. I you guys could go to LAX Absolutely. right now and hop a plane and Absolutely. party with yeah. all the draftees. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So that was an incredible, really well thought out yeah. answer. It um, was. Please, you know? Okay. Um, please. All right. I'm going to go a little bit of a mixture. I'm A, I'm getting bottle service, but I'm not letting everybody in the table. It's like my crew. Like, so I'm not bringing everyone tight. in. Yeah, keeping the circle tight, being smart about it. On top of it, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home with the person that I, my relationship, but <laughs> my relationship, but I'm going to be smart and I'm going to say, a, I'm not going to marry you right now because I'm 19. Hell no. Number uh -huh. two. See, Patrick? You can't come with me to this new city. You have to continue to do your thing and work on your career and figure out what you're going to do because in 10 this years. This is incredibly well-considered yeah. answer. <laughs> I'm I mean, all impressed. Talk about improv. 
I mean, you're, you're, just you're coming up. That's very responsible. You're like right. living life, baby. Brand brand new. New life. I'm not trying to set our relationship ship right. up to fail. There you go. Okay. Wow. Wow. Four completely but that's different they perspectives. Make the I mean, I'm impressed. Yeah. But they make the mistakes I because be you. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> they make the mistakes because you, they marry I'm the, the first I've girl. I've literally gave the most boring ass answer. <laughs> I, <laughs> I would put now, my money I in the bank and go home and go to bed. Business, but Forget I pick it. him. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Wow, he's actually bringing beans they are. and celery sticks would here to the stage. I'm drink like some I'm good. All I need is some some greasy chicken. All right, what's your answer? Oh, uh, no, no, you thanks. don't want I'm my actually, answer. I'm going to just oh, pick one of y'all, <laughs> and I already decide to go that way. Spencer wins. Yes, it's automatically one because you guys were trying to leave me. So I picked mm. the person who wants to keep I wasn't trying to leave you. I was trying to build you up. Look, I, listen, I'm let me to be your you manager. Up. Like, okay. okay well, say that's it. a job. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> let me be that's a manager. That's the job. You know, let me learn on the job, though. I don't want you kicking me out. I want to learn while you're moving up. Yeah. Okay, baby, I messed up. So what? So what, what, what would you say? What would you She's got to answer. I said I'm taking Roger, the people. Right now. Okay, so you, you, you my answer you. at 19. Whoo! Mm. Mama, I'm sorry Who's this for guy? everything I did. Dude, Roger Goodell oh, knows that. That's Tony, Gonzalez? Tony Gonzalez, yeah. Hi, Tony. Look at all my cheap things. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, sorry. This is where we all stop talking. Tony Gonzalez. Who's this guy talking right now? Do we know? Oh, Tony really? Gonzalez. Yeah, that's great. Tony he Gonzalez. A player? A football Number player? 88. He's a, he's a legend. Former he's tight a Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. He's our, one Tony of our Goodell? best tight ends. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Oh, good. Oh, good. oh, that's oh, Austin Eckler. Oh, that's Austin sure. Eckler, yeah. yeah. He's, he's good. He's cute, too. Hey. <laughs> he looks little. He lives in LA. Football player. He's a little. Yeah, Chargers. He's a running back? Is he Chargers? Yeah. What number is he on the Chargers? Uh, he's a running back. Hey. I don't I'm know. I'm so sad we didn't get Tony a ring. I just Questions, because girls like tall guys. If 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 Austin Eckler, <laughs> thirty, if he has like a hundred million dollar contract, would you date Austin Eckler? You're asking me. I would me? date Tyreek. <laughs> I mean, if you're into that, you know. I would date Tyreek. I mean, I don't care. No, no, oh, he's Leo. Really he is. He's Austin yeah. Eckler. No, no, him. no you would not. Right I can't now. look at him. Like, well, he's no, a good-looking guy. Yeah, he's a good-looking guy. Good-looking guy, guy talented, I'm obviously oh quick yeah. on his feet. Yeah, no. yeah. I can't yeah. look at her for these I women are. I tried to keep it off the like, show, so but she brought it up. <laughs> it's about him fully, y'all, that we should say <laughs> that. Okay. Yeah. So would you? Austin Eckler, yeah, 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 he's, he's fine. Cute. Got the right. First of all, he's listen about the way you look. I I'm single now. I want my baby to come out cute. So at the end of the day, he plays football. Bam, I'm an athlete. He's an athlete. We make a great child. Not uh-huh. only would the baby be kind of cute because I'm already cute, but then he's cute. So it makes two you are. people make a cute baby. Thank you. You are. Sir. You're very handsome, too. You're Thank you. Um, so Even I, with I, the I mustache? Would. I know I like them. You like I the mustache, the right? Mustache. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. It's like it goes with the outfit, it goes yep. with the eyes. Thank you, baby. A little soft. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Spencer, <laughs> your outfit tonight is beating all the jackets. Oh, well, that's yeah. nice. Awesome. No, it really is. It, it really is. Good. He looks it, great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm on my way to a fancy dinner, but I this I, I I this is half half for you and half for my. They need Can to you know. tell us where you're going? I'm having dinner, dinner with yeah. with some of my castmates from the show. Oh, hey, awesome. Yeah, you're yeah. coming in hard, so yeah. they need to yeah. know he's yep. clean. Okay. Tell uh, Matt Johnson said hello. I will. Yeah, yeah. Isn't he great? <laughs> oh, you don't know because you haven't seen the show. I will. I will. Gotta watch the show. So good. And see Isaiah, who plays Magic Johnson, is an absolute star. Like out of nowhere, he he just burst like a supernova. On this show, he's so damn good. Shout and out and, to you. and uh, Solomon Hughes, who plays uh, Kareem, also brilliant. We were just saying the cadence yeah. is just, <laughs> just so on point. Yeah. And just the casting in general. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who the casting is the casting? Casting is ridiculous. Sally Francine Field? Mazler is her name. Okay, yeah, Sally Field. Adrian Brody, football. Jason Siegel. We, uh, we are the only television show probably in the history of the world that has two Pulitzer Prize winning yeah. playwrights in our cast. Uh, Tracy Letts, who plays Jack McKinney, the coach mm-hmm. who has the ba- the bike accident that a- you'll see in episode yeah, yeah. five. <laughs> uh, I already spoiled it. My God. Um, well, I Googled Tracy Letts sure won the uh, he won the Pulitzer Prize for August Osage County, um, and then we also have a uh, uh, Stephen Adley Girgis who plays Frank Mariani, who's uh, uh, John C. Riley's accountant on the show. He's sort of like the yeah, kind of he heavy set guy. He's early. I mean, he passed away. It's not a real sh- well on the show. He's still was. alive. No, he's. You're thinking of a different guy. Oh, not the one. Who no, not the not the one who no. gets whacked and ends <laughs> up trunk. in the back of a trunk. No, that's the mafia Way guy. That's the mafia. That's the mafia really, guy. No, really uh, Stephen Adley really Gerges, uh won the Pulitzer Prize. He uh, famously can I can I use a uh, can I say an F word? You can yes. say whatever. Oh, you want. so he he wrote Absolutely he wrote a play not. called The Motherfucker with a Hat. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was on Broadway with Chris Rock. Yeah. So and uh, and he won a Pulitzer Prize for his next play called Between Riverside and Crazy. So we've got oh. two Pulitzer Prize winning writers in our cast. 
yeah. in addition to Sally Field. I mean, it's an embarrassment of riches. It yeah. really is. It's wild. Yeah. That's why I, say, I really awesome. look forward to um, the Emmys giving you all multiple awards, regardless of what everybody got to say. This is literally one of the best shows that are out right now. Um, I personally like to watch like really, really. You, it takes a lot for me to get through all the seat, all the episodes, because I'm really judgy. And it's just like the work that was put in yeah. to make every character come to life. It is so real. And it, as a creator, you just appreciate greatness. You got to come work for the show. show. You got to be. You'd be I'm, the best well, publicist for our show. Well, they need another little cookie, Junior. You know, call me. <laughs> got my hair like she was. But for real, I, I, I'm hoping. For I'm glad season you two. love it. I'm glad you love yeah, it. Yeah, really. I'm hoping for season two. Your hair does look like it's from the 70s. No, so. it is literally how Cookie wears her hair. This is one of my hairs. Yeah. Um, I it's have one of my more hairs. Than one. <laughs> This is, is that a, is that a uh, I like to call them pieces? Uh, <laughs> Whoever I want to be today, this is Cookie. This is Cookie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That in, was in my honor nickname, of, though. Isn't is she really great is. too? Tamara Tomakili, she plays Cookie. She's, so she's awesome. fabulous. Yeah. She's doing and so Rob good. Morgan, who plays Quincy. I was Quincy's. so pissed off at Magic though the uh, t- not the other day. Like it was like <laughs> it just happened, but no, it was the episode. I just I watched know. it. I mean, why he gotta sleep with the best friend? Oh, I know. Have was that awful? Have you ever slept with a best friend? Like best friend? Mm, off the record. Off the record. Turn uh, <laughs> your cameras off so we can get the real deal. Uh, okay? yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that was a that was a that was a dick move. That was a love I was love. So mad. Yeah. She didn't do enough. She was in the other room. She didn't I know. do enough. Yeah. I feel like that's the whole. You got a lot to room. catch up on, brother. Yeah. 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 I'm like, what are you guys Cookie down. shows up at the door and and her best up. friend uh-huh. is in the other room and they Sorry, just magic, they just had a little stuff fest. Well, I mean, you know. No, 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 no. When you see the scene, I'm bold too. But that's a whole other level. Girlfriend or something. Yeah. Cookie yeah. Cassie. There's a lot of sexy oh. time in this show. There's a lot of. Uh, oh, if. Send the children to bed, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, the show was incredible. There's a reason it's on late on hey, HBO. Hey, hey. <laughs> Cookie stayed. No, but that's why I say I had to go and look it up. Like, shout out to you guys because st- I mean, everybody has their thing. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. for yes. me, for her, it's love. And I watched many interviews because I was digging, girl. I was like, <laughs> yeah. why did she say? And it's not because of the diagnosis that I was looking it up. It was literally just the first episode. Like, you just want to know the first couple episodes for him to be the way that he was in, in whatever context it really is. You know he was getting it in. We all know that now. But it was just like, why <laughs> do you stay? And it's because she said love. That was her flat out answer. Yeah. There right. ain't nothing else you can do about that. All yeah. right. Her love over And they've been together what now? 35 years? 40? Yeah. yeah. And happily, they look yeah. happy. They yeah. do look happy. Listen, ain't that much love in the world. And they've been through a lot together. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna love your cash into my bank yeah. account. That's about it because I'm gone. And then I'm gonna come be with you, Spencer, because you wanna <laughs> lay down with the person that you laid down with in 19. You wanna go leave him when you got paid. That's what I'm That's talking right. about. That's right. Dude, I don't I, I don't know too much about Magic Johnson, but now I'm hearing this and I'm like I'm already know you know the whole, the, the, the whole you know and that thing and then the cheating thing, and I'm like, damn, she loves that guy. It must yeah. be. Oh, she oh, said yeah. that. Cause I holy hell. Yeah, you see him do a lot of uh, he gets frisky a lot in this show. And wow. I'm not so. mad at that. Like I literally am not mad at men and or women or whatever doing what you want to do sexually. Be free. Just don't be free and marry. Like I, unless it's an open marriage. I am truly about honoring the person that you choose. I might say a whole bunch of stuff as a single person because I can do that. But when you say I do, I think there's another level of honor and respect yeah. that should come into play. I agree. And you don't get to just sling the thing everywhere and be loosey-goosey. What's the name of that, I think, that I think sandwich? I think you talked to Jason Smith about that. Loosey, <laughs> Gucci, Lucci, you know, juicy, juicy, Lucy Lucy. everywhere. Okay. Who's that guy now? So James another, okay, Williams. so the wide receivers, the offensive players are James getting drafted now. Who's James the guy with Williams. the hair? Jameson Williams. Oh, oh. James they're James all in red. Wide receiver Alabama. Another they're all matching. That we were supposed to get that the Al- Lions took. Now Alabama it was on your side. I got, took I the love Lions the outfit. Need it. You got it. You got to respect the the, uh, the boldness of the yeah, outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did not. Oh, uh, he got on some. Bama boys are out here. He's not shy. Oh my God! So Barney's this is somebody that they are the best wings to get, in the world. Uh, best for the record. Yeah. Shout out Barney's Greenery. We are finally not. trying their wings, their best wings in the world. Says uh, everyone, you know. Spencer, besides Barney's Greenery, yes, where's my your dear. favorite spot in LA? Your my favorite, favorite spot in LA, um, I've got, I got three. I'm a creature of habit. I go to this <laughs> same kind of four or five places. My favorite spot in in the city probably for the last 10, 12 years is uh, the Sunset Tower. Love. The Tower Bar. The Martinis. Uh, the Martinis. Um, I also love the San Vicente Bungalow. Uh, the Soho Warehouse downtown. Love the new one. I love the Village Idiot on Melrose. Okay. Um, what else? You know, um, that's a new Soho house right here. Huh? That's a Soho house now. 
That is right yeah, there? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, right, well, there's another one. This is going to be like a little offshoot? more of their hotel. Or, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a bar and whatever. But but, uh, but the tower bar, that's kind of my joint right Love now. Love it. I'm heading there now. I'm, I'm heading there for dinner now. Uh, well, we don't want to hold you. You're not. I'm having okay. a blast, guys. Wait, I love okay. it. But I do. I, I've got to. I got to skate. Two. What's that? I'm sorry. You said two spots though. You said one, and then the other is well, what? Uh, Sunset Tower, Sam City Bungalows, Village uh, Idiot on Melrose, okay. and uh, and my favorite Italian place in town. I'm not connected to them in any way. I just love Italian food, and I love these guys. It's called Osteria Mama. It's on uh, Melrose around Larchmont and Larchmont yeah, Village. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Best Italian food in the city. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. If you dig it. <laughs> Shout um, out to Jess, who's taking the videos and the photos oh, behind so here. Jess, she's always on it. Always on it. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to stop. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm, yeah. Well, thank you so this much. Such a blast. I, love I love it. Thank you. Thanks for. Oh, oh my God. God. It's it's we, and we met, we met on a carpet, didn't we? We met on a red carpet. Where was it? What were we doing? I can't remember what red carpet was. Was it an Oscar thing? I think it was an Oscar were you, like, you were, event. Were you doing... Um, I was doing interviews, obviously. I, for, but were you with... Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Real, were you with RealTV.com or what was no, it? No, uh, I was I was with like an independent, yeah. random, Yeah, whatever. we met on a red carpet yeah. like 10, 12 thank years you. ago. And yeah. Thank you. You're the sweetest for thinking of me. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad you came. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. This is amazing. It. And we're so perfect for the spot. Like, you just, he sat right down and Wait, got right to it. LJ, can we get a picture on my phone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Not that anybody's going to share those photos. We need a separate one, though. Because she want to get her picture. Right now, LJ. So where we is this? All the yeah, this is streaming okay, live, right? We're streaming live. On what? On YouTube? Right. On YouTube yeah. right now, and then Smart we'll. Mouth, yeah. YouTube, yep. There we go. Okay. I'm uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Purple Vancer, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I love it. Just our new kind of venture. Yeah. We're gonna build this thing up, and right. we're yeah. just excited. What's, to... what's the name from? Where do you take the name from? LJ, LJ come on, on over here. He's actually the producer Purple, slash host slash everything. everything. LJ. Vikings based. Got it. Yep. I love it. Are you a Prince fan too? Of course. Of course. You have to be. Yeah, you have to be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love you. I love your Dodger. Sorry. Hat. Oh, there. Uh, winning time, Mad. Right winning now. time. Oh. 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 Wow. That's HBO Max commercial, but you see what they led with. Let's oh. be clear. There we go. Let's be clear. They led with winning time. Yeah, we blew all the other shows, but exactly. we cheer with winning time. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm I mean, sorry. what a, what a great. Uh, I mean, Barry's amazing. Hacks what is amazing. Chances? HBO Max oh, is I'm killing it. Minx too. It's pretty cool to yeah, be on like HBO, HBO right now. Yeah, I gotta yeah. Tell you. You know, there's a lot it. of good stuff going on. So, actually, fun um, Vikings Barney's story. Yeah. We made them when we won the Minneapolis Miracle. We like, we were pretty drunk and like <laughs> <laughs> we bombarded Barney's and we were like, put on Prince and put on Prince and they put on Prince. We made the shots that we make back home and they they were so cooperative i think it's the is it the 10th anniversary of his he just he's passed away already i think so oh yeah. my god Some, it was like uh, it's like michael jackson passed too. Yeah. yeah michael jackson's we, been prince michael tom petty so and yeah, bowie like all long in long the same all in that little you know it's a lot it's too much that's crazy well, guys, guys. Thank you. Thank you. appreciate it man my pleasure all right i'm gonna pop up quick